It is now my duty to administer today's oath of office um, to Ellie and her cabinet, um, and I'm going to begin with the cabinet. Um, and uh, as a state leader who works closely with Governor Ned Lamont, I know just how important it is to advise the governor, support the governor's platform goals, and all work together to advance your collective goals. So I'm going to swear you each in individually. So when I call your name, please stand in front of your seat, raise your right hand, and after I read your oath, you say, I do. So first, we have Aaron and Young, who lives in Hartford and goes to school at Creck University of Hartford Magnet School in West Hartford. Um, Aaron, okay, you are ready. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God. If so, please say I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have Jacob Garay, who also lives in Hartford and goes to Creck Discovery Academy in Weathersfield. Raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof? That, and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God. If so, please say I do. Thank you. Congratulations. Next up, Liliana Magazine from, yes, uh, from Meadowside Elementary School in Milford. Liliana, please raise your right hand. Thank you. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God? If so, please say I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have Maxence Clementine from Long Meadow Elementary School in Middlebury. You are also ready to go. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God? If so, please say I do. Congratulations. I should have this memorized by now, but maybe by the end. Scarlett, you are up next. Scarlett Beaulieu, who attends Andover Elementary School in Andover, do you solemnly swear that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God? If so, please say I do. Congratulations. And last but not least, Sean Patel from Pomparag Elementary School in Southbury. Sorry. Uh, do you <laughs> solemnly swear, I lost my place, <laughs> that you will support the fifth graders and students of Connecticut during your one-year term and so long as you continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of the kid governor's cabinet to the best of your ability, so help you God? If so, please say I do. Congratulations. 